Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate the PSA injection today. Before you start the injection, it's really important to make sure that your patient is in the right position. It's more critical with the PSA than I, I think with any other injection that you have your patient at the right height for you. So if you'll notice, um, my patient's right at about the height of my elbow, maybe even a little bit lower, maybe an inch lower than what you would normally put your patient at. And then also, it's really important to make sure that their face is parallel to the floor. So, you know, if their body's a little, you know, slanted upwards or whatnot, that's okay. But the face has to be parallel because you won't be able to see your angles very well if their face isn't straight. Okay? So now that we're positioned, we're going to find our sight. So the first thing you want to do when you're finding your sight is you want to feel for the sight. So we're going to palpate the mucobuccal fold until you find that zygomatic process, the zygomatic strut. And then that's the bone right there. And then you're going to keep going until your finger falls into the soft spot behind it. And your sight is going to be in the middle of the soft spot. Now I want to talk about retraction, okay? When you're retracting for the PSA, if you'll notice my arm, my elbow is up and my hand is twisted so that the palm of my hand is towards the top of uh, my patient's head and my finger is straight, you don't want to grab the lip like you would just retract for the MSA because that's not going to work. For beginners, a lot of times I'll say just go ahead and make a fist and then stick your index finger out straight. Get your elbow out up in the air, your pat your finger is pointing towards the top of the patient's head, you go ahead and open, and I'm going to palpate the zygomatic stretch. Do you see how my finger is still straight? I fall it to the soft spot, that's my sight, and I'm going to be retracting straight out, and I'm giving a little bit more pressure with the very tip of my finger so that I tighten the tissue at the same time. And I'm pulling out towards myself, but I'm also pulling up towards the top of her head a little bit. Now, look at that sight. It is really, really tight back there. But what I see a lot of people do, because there's a knack to this retraction, they'll, they'll reach back and they'll pull, and then it's flopping over the sight and you can't see. So I'm holding my sight, I'm holding my retraction nice and tight so that the sight is very, very open and the tissue is taut. And as you can see, my sight's gonna be way back here so you can really see that sight, it's nice and open. But if you just retract like this, that tissue is falling over the site and, you, and you're gonna be blind. You won't exactly know where that needle's going. So it's really important. Again, you're gonna slide back, find the zygomatic strut. The pad of your finger is gonna fall into the soft spot. Your finger's pretty straight. You're just gonna use the tip of your finger to pull up and out and find that bone and then just plant the pad of your finger on the bone so you don't slip forward. Okay, so now we've got the retraction down. We are going to actually give the injection here. The site is going to be the middle of the soft spot behind um, the zygomatic strut. And a lot of people like to use the distal buccal root of the second maxillary molar as their landmark to find their site. But remember the, the roots go a little bit distally so find that distal buccal cusp and know it's still going to be more distal than that. It's way back there. I've divided the area. I'm going to put the topical on. And the PSA is going to get the maxillary molars, all three of the molars, the pulpal tissues, the overlying periosteum on the facial side, the connective tissue, the mucosa, everything on the facial. It does not get anything on the lingual. It gets all those molars except for possibly the mesial buccal root of the first molar, which is a lot of times innervated by the MSA injection. Okay, so we have had that topical sitting on there. I'm gonna wipe it off, and then we're gonna be ready to go. So remember, you want to see those angles. You want your face, patient's face parallel to the floor. And I like to tell my patient, I'm going to be tugging on your cheek. Because when they feel you pulling, they're going to want to help you out and turn their head towards you. And then you're going to lose your angle. So I'll say, I want you to resist me. I'm going to be tugging on you. But you stay where you're at. 
space. And then as you're going in, you're gonna find that 45 degrees to the sagittal, 45 degrees to the occlusal plane. So you're down and out. My elbow is tucked in close to my body. My palm is up. And I am going to go in and then adjust my angles. I've got my angles correct. I'm kind of pulling towards my tummy a little bit to try to stretch that lip to get the right angle. And I'm gonna do minimum penetration. Aspirate, it's negative, so I'm gonna give a couple drops. And wait five seconds. And you really have to give some pressure on that lip and be pulling towards yourself to maintain that angle sometimes. It's really easy to lose that angle. So I've waited five seconds, I'm gonna proceed in. There needs to be at least four millimeters showing at, at depth, and she's a smaller person, so I'm gonna stop even shy of that. I'm at optimum depth and angle. I'm going to aspirate. It's negative. I'm gonna give a few drops, and I am pulling on that lower lip to keep my angle. I'm really tugging. And I go. Okay, 